hello friends in this video i am going to show you how to call a data flow from an activity so in my previous videos i have created a data flows and uh, i ran the data flow the run instance got created that means uh, uh, when you run the data flow right uh, one run id or run instance got created when we start that run instance the data flow execution or the data flow processing is happening so sometimes i want to call the data flow from an activity how can we do that i will show you in this video i am going to create an activity and before that uh, uh, before i'm first of all i'm going to create an activity uh, let me create a very simple activity okay uh, call d call data flow very simple activity and uh, my class is a test class click on create and open so in activities there is a method call it as a data flow execute data flow execute and uh, when you expand this uh, step method it is asking the method parameters you should pass the data flow which data flow you are going to execute now uh, let me go back to my data flows go to the records uh, data flow so i want to give the test data flow so what it is doing is uh, okay this is the just a source and this is a just a destination uh, source is a report definition which can fetch all the cases and processing those which can fetch all the records and this destination is creating the case for each and every record creating the case for each and every record okay so i want to run this data flow from an activity so the data flow name is test the moment when you give the data flow name so see the next the next input value we should select is operation there are three types of operation start stop and get progress and before going to explain this option let me open the run instances let me open the run instances decisions decisioning data flows and batch processing i already explained what is the difference between the batch processing and real time processing okay so here if you can see the run instances for example when you run the data flow one run id got created so the moment when you open this run instance there are options so you can restart or that means you can start the execution or you can stop the execution etc you can start the execution you can stop the execution so similarly it is asking just go back when you run the data flow what is the operation you want to do that start or stop or get progress for example now you have a very limited number of records currently sometimes uh, if your data flow is processing the millions of records uh, during that phase if you want to find out the status or progress of the data flow execution you can select this get progress or if you want to stop the execution you can stop or if you want to start the execution you can start now what i am going to do is uh, i can select the operation is start again it is asking a few more properties sorry few more options run defined with run id or run options so by default i am selecting the run id what is the service instance background processing see for example when i run the data flow go back to the test click on actions and run when i run this data flow what is the service instance name every time i am selecting the background processing etc so that's why what is the run instance name background processing what is the run id what is the run id every time when you run this data flow one run instance got created click on submit click on submit what is the run instance 
this is the run instance data flow df test 3002 this is the run instance so every time if you want you can start or you can stop etc you can start and you can restart etc after execution also so now just go back run id is this one every time what you are doing once the run instance got created you just click on start here you are doing uh, you are executing this run instance by click on start but the same operation is going to be happened from the activity by using this data flow execute which data flow what is the operation start or stop or get the progress or get the current status of your data flow execution run defined with run id you should provide the run id just click on save just click on save before executing this activity before executing this activity just see the number of instances okay currently 20 20 pages means approximately 1000 records now my currently this activity what this activity is going to do what this activity is going to do this activity is executing the data flow that means uh, total number of records is a thousand so for each and every record one one new case got created that means additionally thousand cases will be created when you run this data flow from an activity normally if you want you can run it directly from here you can run it directly from here but uh, what i am doing i am running from an activity data flow execution actions run and before running this activity once again i am showing total number of records is 20 pages so last updated date and time is 631-1404-631. Now let me run this activity. We can't run. Success. Close. Actually, this is the run instance I got. See this, see this one. What is the run instance? DF test 3002. Refresh. Currently still it is in progress. That means uh, you ran the data flow run instance using an activity. The activity is triggered this run instance. Open this DF test 3002. Okay, this is successfully completed or not? Still, it is going. Now the status is completed. How many number of records? Total 964. So that means uh, when you refresh this one, so 20 becomes a 40. See this one, 39. 642 new record got created 642 okay again i'm going to show you again i'm going to show you because just now i opened this df test 3002 that's why you may confuse also so what i'm going to do again call data flow actions run this time total how many number of records here so 40 40 into 50 almost 2000 records approximately 2000 records now this 2000 records becomes a 4000 records because for each and every record the case got created why i already explained action run fine that's it the task is completed it is executing in the background it is executing in the background if you want you can see open the run instance again now refresh okay open the df test 3002 i did not started here i did not click on start here i triggered from an activity see how many number of processed records is 373 meanwhile okay Meanwhile, if you want to find out the 
status get progress also get the progress of this run instance the moment when you select a get progress just provide the run id run id means the df test 3002 and the progress page if you want to find out if you want to keep those details you can give it as a progress page then you can find out the status of your execution you can find out the status of your execution or if you want to stop that execution also just provide this run id df test 3002 these are the operations What I'm going to do run instance uh, save actions. I want to stop this. Okay, let's see. Before that it was completed or not, I don't know. See this one. Processed records is how many? See this one. Processed records is only 1772. I stopped this data flow execution from an activity. Okay. Total number of records is 1772 only processed. Still, if you want to, actually, total number of records is almost close to 2000. If you want to continue, you can continue, or if you want to restart, you can restart it. Uh, similarly, you can either you can start or you can stop or find out the get progress get progress also i hope you can understand how to call a data flow using an activity thank you